I'm good. We're recording. Okay. Um, we continue debate in the Senate today on the Department of Administration bill. It's the third day of debate, and it's a very important bill for this reason. South Carolina is the only state in the nation that has an entity like the Budget and Control Board, which is comprised of members of the executive branch and the legislative branch. It's a five-member board. Um, it's really unaccountable to the public, and it executes our laws. We all learned in grade school that we have three branches of government. The legislature passes the law, the executive branch executes the law, and the judiciary interprets the law. And it's important to have separation of powers because they check and balance each other, because it prevents tyranny, promotes openness, and transparency. But here in South Carolina, we have the legislative and executive functions combined into one board. And it's been that way for the past 62 years. We started it in 1950, and it's resulted in tremendous inefficiencies in terms of how our laws are executed. It costs us 20% more than the national average to take our laws and to execute them into things that benefit the people of South Carolina, and it's because we have this inefficient entity called the Budget Control Board. Now, for the first time in many, many years, we have a chance to change that. And we're debating it today in the Senate. Um, it's a bipartisan bill because this is not a Republican or a Democratic issue. It's a good government issue. And both Democrats and Republicans who want good government support this bill. Now, we have some senior members of the legislature who want to hold on to the Budget Control Board. It's a source of power. Uh, it's a source of prestige. But it's not benefiting the people of South Carolina, and a bunch of us in the Senate are determined to once and for all abolish the Budget Control Board. It might not happen today. It might not happen next week. But eventually this session, it's going to happen.